Good day everyone, Imperius back here with another tutorial. Today I am um, going to explain to you how to make a domination map. Currently in domination at the moment, but will probably be changed right after this video. Um, there is a certain system, but I wanted to change that up. But this one needs some bit more explanation how to do it. But first you need to do is you get need to get this XML. Uh, I will paste the link in the description so you can find it there. Also, in the time being, uh, when I copy this, and, um, domination is um, is a PvP type game where your objection is to capture flags and areas, and that will give you points, and uh, the one with the most points will win. And it's team based, so it's quite fun to do. Okay, so first thing you see here is you see um, three. Uh, different colored cubes. These will re represent the flags in the future. Then if we go up here you see uh, three color or six colored areas, one for the red, one for the blue. That will mean they, they will in the end go into those places. Okay, So that's the start. So we first load this. Then we want to give the location of the flags. And you can see this is a side scroll map. So let's let's just Let's, I'll just make a really basic map with one floor so you have an understanding um, what I'm doing. So after you made your map with all this stuff, so for example, let's say this this is my map. I would never accept this, but okay. And you want the first slack, you want to be here. Uh, that's fine. So, And this is also the first slack, but this is the blue color, so they need to be on the same location. So let's say we want those there, we want this in the middle, and these ones we want over here. But one flaw with this is that the flags first need to be underground. So what we need to do, we need to lower them with at least 40. So what we do is we add 40 to the Y, so we get um, 60 there, and we do the same here. Uh, we add that here as well. It's fairly simple. They will be underneath the ground here, but don't worry. You should not change the layering of the grounds, by the way. So if you add a ground, don't remove these and don't change the layering of the of the grounds. Why is that? Because um, the numbers, the set value is really important. It's linked to the code. Okay, so now we place the, um, all the stuff on here. Now we copy the map. Uh, we go to uh, this web page. Uh, I will lower the page so you can see. Uh, it's uh, the new version of the CG objects. Let's go up again. So this is the same as the one earlier by Fixie, only a bit better. And what we need to look for is these flags, the red and the blue one. Okay, um, I paused the video for a bit because I made a small mistake, um, but there's no issue, so I have to remove this. So what we need to do is we have the red flag selected, which I chose here, the red flag, and now we need to copy the XML and place it into this box here, and we need to choose one and generate object. Now we need to choose two and generate object, and we need to use three and generate object. Now we go back down, and we pick this one. Now we may choose four, generate object, choose five or six as well, and five. So one, two, three is for red, and four, five, six is for blue. Now you have done this, you copy this code again, go back into the game, and load it. Now, if correct, those blocks should have created the objects. Now, as you can see here, there's the objects, but they are not doing what we want yet. And that's because, um, let's, um, let's move this ground out of the way for a bit. We can place it back later. You can see it has lines now, and it's not the size it was before. So what you need to do is you need to make it fixed rotated, and you need to change the size uh, of it to 30 by 30. And that is not that, not that hard, so you need to do that for all of them. 
So I'll do that. By 30, uh, this one as well. You can move them around now, it's not, not an issue. Uh, you just need to change them up a bit. This is needed. I see I forgot the 30 here. Okay, so those are 30 by 30. I know this might be a bit inconvenient, but it's not hard to do, so I think you can do it that much. And the last one. Okay, so now what we do is we get one of these and we see it's four. Uh, that means four that is blue and this is red. So one is red. Okay, so we go up and we place this one in the first red square. We get this one, which is four, and we put that one in the fourth one. So over here. And we pick up the fifth one, so that one goes in the fifth box, which is this one. And we pick up the next one, which is two, which goes in the second box. Now we pick up these. This is the sixth one, so it's the last one, so let's place it in the last box. And let's get this one as well and place that one in this box. Now you got to check if they are all fixed rotated. Uh, yes, this one is fixed rotated, that one is fixed rotated. Yep, yep, this one is not. So that one I missed, and this one is also not. Okay, so now they are all fixed rotated, and now let's check the map. If we put the ground back to where it was, I guess around here. Let's see what happens now. Okay, you can see the flags are underneath the map. Okay, so that's good. And how will the mechanism in the game work? Well, um, if you want to check if it works, you need to spawn a balloon right here. If you spawn a balloon there, uh, you can see if your mechanism works. And you can see the flag goes up. As you can see, the flag went up too high. You can easily change that by lowering this ground. So if you want the flag to lower less high okay that's a bit too low and like that so you can change the height so if you want to change that later okay so now this should be the perfect height and there the flag goes and the same we can do for this uh, the, the other one and now the blue flag goes up um, so what you do then you remove the balloon after you test it if the map works fine you can test it with everyone and you go into the middle and you place the mice on X800 and minus 500, which is not hard. Uh, oh, not 5000, but 500. Now, basically, your mechanism is done. And you can send the map with the location of the flags and the location you want the mice to spawn. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something from this. Bye bye.